Welcome to the Reedville Fisherman's Museum, where our mission is the preservation and presentation of our heritage on the lower Chesapeake Bay and its tributaries. This includes the history of local watermen and the commercial Menhaden industry that has grown in the Reedville area for over 140 years. We accomplish our mission and goals by acquiring, documenting, and displaying materials of historical significance to the area's fishing, crabbing, and oystering production, all of which is intertwined in the lives of the residents on the Northern Neck. The story is directly linked to the commercial fishing industry that sprang to life in 1874 when Elijah Reed moved his family from Maine to develop a Menhaden fishing operation on Cockrell's Creek. A need for lighting oil and lubricants used by the emerging industrial revolution in this country led to the discovery that Menhaden could answer the call. Because the little fish was so abundant, the Menhaden industry flourished in the earlier part of the 20th century. By 1910, there were 18 factories processing Menhaden in the Reedville area. It was at this time that Reedville boasted more millionaires per capita than any other place in the United States. Elijah Reed came down here right after the Civil War and he saw two things. He saw abundance of labor and abundance of resources. The bay was full of fish. So he moved his operation from Brooklyn, Maine, down to the Chesapeake Bay. And he established a plant down here named Taylor Reed. He moved his operation here and, and started the Menhaden business right here. Reedville has been the focus for Menhaden harvesting uh, from, from that point forward. Then other people started putting up factories. At one time, there were as many as 18 on the, on the creek. So it, it essentially built a town. Today, while Reedville is a seemingly quiet village, it is among the top five ports in the U.S. for total tonnage. The Menhaden catch is highly regulated so as not to overfish along the Atlantic seaboard. Reedville's fishing industry took on patriotic duties during both World War I and World War II, when much of the fishing fleet saw action performing multiple roles. Many of our local fishermen joined the armed services and the merchant marine to do their part in the war effort. After the war, most of the boats and men returned to fish the waters again, though some enterprising families established businesses that included mercantile, hotels, restaurants, bakeries, banks, boat building, and hardware establishments. By the 1970s, however, Reedville had evolved into a quiet village, but still supplies fish-related products in the form of Menhaden oil and bone meal. These went to a variety of manufacturers who produce human foodstuffs, animal seeds, fertilizer, and omega-3 oil supplements. The museum is located on the banks of Cockrell's Creek on land that was originally owned by Captain Elijah Reed. The oldest surviving home in the village, the William Walker House, was built in 24 hours in 1875 and was occupied by the same family until it was sold in 1986 to the Greater Reedville Association. Through the work of many volunteers, the association restored the structure and in 1988 it became the first Reedville Fisherman's Museum. The museum's campus includes the following structures. The Covington Building, a generous gift from Frank Covington in honor of his wife, Dorothy, enabled the museum to expand into a new facility in 1995. The building now houses exhibit galleries, a gift shop, and space for children's hands-on activities, lectures, and changing displays. The Walker House has been restored to its original state as an early 20th century fisherman's home in the Neck. Furnishings, artwork, and decorative items represent life on Cockrell's Creek through the 1920s. 
The separate kitchen displays some of the canned foods put up in the 20th century from either produce from local farms or fish, crab, and oysters from the creek in the lower bay. The pavilion. This open-sided structure does triple duty as a location for a permanent display of wooden boats built by the Butler family of Reedville, a space for educational tours and programs, and as an event venue for concerts, picnics, and other special events. The Pendleton Building. This structure was built from funds provided by grants and a generous donation by Ken Pendleton, and now houses the model and boat shops and collection storage. The Butler House. Built by George Pope Butler as his family's home, the house was purchased by the museum and restored to house the museum's administrative offices, the curatorial workspace, and the small archives and library rooms. The museum owns and cares for several historic vessels, including the Claude W. Summers, our 1911 skipjack, the Elva C, our 1922 Dead Rise by boat. The Foggy River, another Dead Rise, which is now our outdoor educational workshop space. And the Spirit of Reedville, a 1980s aluminum purse boat donated by Omega Protein. The Summers and the Elva C are listed on the National Register for Historic Places because of their significance to maritime history. Next to the pier is our floating dock for easy access to the water for kayakers and canoers. Several blocks north of the main campus is Festival Hall, an early school which was gifted to the museum and has since been restored uh, as an event venue. Folks can rent the space for weddings, lectures, parties, concerts, plays, and family reunions. We're glad you're here and hope that you have time to explore and discover. Our destination is worth the drive. Thank you.